Hello. Alright, so today we're going to be doing um, dropping items, and we're going to be doing, we're going to be changing the, uh, the way that it looks a little bit. So this is what it's going to end up looking like. I really recommend it. No way you drop it. It's going to spawn me. Alright. So first we're going to go to the master item blueprint over here. We're going to make sure that this on replicates. So we're going to replicate this. Gotcha. Slash mesh. How stuff that component replicates. Um, and keep in mind guys, like I, I'm probably going to be changing things because you know this is just the beginning of my portfolio. I will be getting better. Uh, so bear with me. Awesome. So then we went to the master item. Um, we did that already. So now we're going to the AC inventory component. Okay, inside this, we're going to uh, make two. I think you really only need two events, uh, custom events. This one's on the server. We're on the server. It's reliable. Um, and this one is. Clients, which run on a mountain client, it's also reliable. You're gonna do spawning actor here. Just drag these into the spawn transform and then the spawn class, and then uh, you're just gonna call the server spawn item here. So this I don't think we need. I was doing it earlier. Um. Let's see. Bear with me. Updating, updating. My brain, you know, bruises here. Um, the next thing we're probably gonna do is add this uh, drop item. I'm trying to remember how what order I did this. I'm sorry. Uh, we we added this function for drop drop item. So let's go over to this function. We're gonna call the server spawn item here. That um. This right here that we just made, and then the, the for the spawn transform, we're gonna basically we're gonna get the owner. We're gonna get us. We're gonna get our location and our rotation. Basically, place it in front of us. This this drop distance here. I'm um, in the description. We even wrote this is the distance in front of like how far in front we want. So if we wanted to like decrease this, it it would make it not as so far uh, in front of us. <coughs> This is the first thing you'll do. We spawn the item here. Um, this is going to need this input here for the master item class. It's a item. You just need an item to spawn, but it's of the of the type BP master item, and it's a class reference. So over here, we, we had our inventory. We're going to get our inventory. We're going to find it we're gonna remove from index and basically what this is doing is taking this item to spawn and it's removing it from the inventory and then we're updating the inventory right here which is the widget right here so when we call when we're updating this is another change that we did It is updating it. So just to just to clarify, going back, it's probably gonna be a longer video. Emmy's working right now. Sorry. Yeah. So we spawned the item. <coughs> we got the inventory uh, variable. Uh, we got the array. We got the item. We found the item from the inventory. Right. Item to spawn. We're removing it from from the inventory, and then we're updating the inventory widget. Okay, so down here in the inventory widget, this is a new thing we're gonna do. We're gonna clear the children as soon as we update. So we're gonna clear what we had, and then we're gonna rebuild it. So when we re rebuild it, <coughs> um, we already had all this, but this is new. Add we changed this from a, 
add child to add child to uniform grid and we got the uniform grid <clears throat> and then we made a variable here number of columns this will be divided by this will be divided by the um, number of columns energy this is basically saying uh, the row by the columns so this is going to be how many children are there we only want um, I think I did four no for five so we only want five uh, by however many we, ever, we want so we, right now we don't really have a limit but we just want to make sure that there's five there and then it can continue on so that's why we did it this way alright so the next thing that you do is in the inventory widget or the inventory slot widget I'm sorry um, let's go ahead and start yeah so function update instead of this texture we're going to just change it to the BP master class master item class and it's the held item right we're going to set it here to the item image instead of the texture that way we're trying to do it from the item class <coughs> then we're going to uh, we're probably gonna next to do this and it's going to be uh, on mountain on mouse button press it's going to be over here in the fun functions and an overhead you're just going to detect drag if press return node and then you're going to do on drag detected right here you're going to make the payload self and default the drag so the visual is itself um, and that's going to be what you drag into here Um, that payload is going to be important because let's see that is where you are going to need to make your next widget so that is when we make this drop slot widget it's just going to be a new widget we're going to make it cover the whole screen um, and it's just going to be transparent so that way it's it's there uh, we're going to add that to the uh, inventory widget here so we're going to put it behind everything so that way you know everything that we do here it won't interact with hopefully so go back to drop slot go to the graph go to the function on drop we're going to make that function on drop here we're going to the operation payload cast to inventory slot uh, that's going to be this payload right here as inventory slot get held item yeah, this is going to be on drop so it's going to be whatever is dropped onto there right that's what it's going to get the payload it's going to cast to this inventory slot and it's going to get the held item that we dropped in there it's going to get this function drop item that we have in our inventory component brings us all the way back I'm oh, sorry and the drop slot so if we drag that item into this drop slot it gets the payload yes and it, yeah Nate does the function drop item that updates inventory awesome <coughs> so one more time, this is in action. Uh, it's five. Let's see, there it is in front of me. And there it is, updating. While I pick it up, um, I guess I can show you that it runs on 
We're on the client, so yeah, so if it's on the same amount, it's obviously going to play. Like I said, we can change this distance to 300 right now, so we can do 200. That'd be a lot better, but yeah, so we'll be updates. Thanks.